I use the term, uh, you know, this is my mountaintop. Yeah. And I love wrestling. Every time I get in the ring, it's an honor. It's a privilege because I honestly don't know. I tag everything these days with, you know, I I appreciate every single time. Thankful every time. Because you don't know if you're going to get another chance. And, um, you know, that was my mountaintop. And not Unless to be I win it again, it's going to remain my mountaintop. Not to be cliche here either, because like, you know, obviously that's a great attitude to have too. But I do think, and I personally, I I think you might be selling yourself a little bit short because you've done so much, you know, after that even farther. But like, let's say that was all it was, right? That one amazing moment. It's like the one hit art, one hit wonder arguments. Like, how many hits has ninety nine point nine percent of the world had? A one hit wonder is one more hit than almost anybody else in the world had. You having that one special moment is more than thousands and thousands of wrestlers Mm -hmm. have dreamed about having and couldn't like, and again, that's not a shot at them, of course, but it's just, it's such a special moment, such a special. It is. And and so many things have to happen, have to align to get you there. Um, I, I actually made this statement this weekend, uh, I have ne- I have never and I will never retire from professional wrestling. Oh wow, that's great. That's great news. Well, now I may happily ride off into the sunset. You know, mm-hmm. I may I may just and it's got I'll kick in. We've we've joked about this, but like it I've I have talked about being done um active ring competitor for off and on for a long time. And that's just that becomes that comes down to pain management and and but it's you just can't replicate that. See, I I love every time I every I sit at that announce table and I watch some of the best wrestling in the world. Um, and I prob- probably probably because it's it's a t- it's a tough call. I'd probably trade it for one match and you know on a pay per view, as opposed to sitting there watching twenty one matches and calling them. And I love calling them, you know, but it's just nothing replaces being in the ring competing and being in front of the fans. And it's just, it's just an amazing, it's an addictive, amazing thing. I will never retire from. Um, I don't want to be the guy that comes back from retirement 38 times. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, 37. I, f- I was told a long time ago that odd numbers are funnier. I don't know why, but uh, you know, <laughs> so I just, I actually told Billy this weekend, I will never retire. That's awesome. And what you said, just the first person I think of is Jerry the King Lawler. We did an inter- interview with uh, Caprice Coleman, and I don't know. I like never- pause. I love Caprice Coleman. Okay, great great. guy. Great guy. Uh, one thing that he brought up was like, like his goal, what he hopes to do, and what he's doing right now. He does commentary for Ring of Honor, and he wrestles on the indies. Just mm-hmm. like you do commentary for the NWA, and you wrestle on the indies. And, of course, the main person people think of for that, Jerry the King Lawler, he did commentary for WWE and he was wrestling every weekend for WWE. So I can see, or for on the Indies, I can see that kind of comparison. And that's just a love of the game. Like when, when you're doing that, that's real love and passion. It's what, I mean, I defended the NWA world title against Jerry Lawler five, six years ago. I, you know, I oh, mean, that's cool. And he is, his passion for wrestling, his knowledge of wrestling uh, that you you have to love it. You have to love it. Period. You know, because people that don't love it very quickly disappear because it's not worth the pain or the money loss or the road miles or you know you name it. Um, Jerry Lawler, you know, I know he had his re- I know he had his last match or whatever, and then has wrestled since then because yeah. you just can't. Uh, Skandar Akbar told me it's like it's like. You hear about being in the mafia. He said, wrestling, there's only two ways out. <laughs> they either stop booking you or you die. That's it. I love it. I love it. And, you know, just shout out to Jerry the King Lawler. Uh, kicked out of another crazy health issue. I know he's still recovering, but, you know, every time it seems like he's out for the count, he manages to kick out and ends up doing okay. So our thoughts are with him.